Hello everyone, Mighty Benaya here, back with the 100 player solo run, um, and a couple things to talk about, but the one thing that I want to point out is this. This is really, really good for me. He came in and is attacking in on my level 4 fort. He did damage it along with my factory and railroad, but already he has lost 14 troops and has taken a damage on his armored car. Once that armored car goes down, he will be dealing significantly less damage because the armored car is doubling up. And actually, I will take a look at that here in a moment. The armored car is doubling up on the amount of damage that he is able to do with his infantry. So when you have more than five infantry, you get diminishing returns. But he has five in, five plus infantry and an armored car which is dealing its full damage. So um, once that armored car goes down, it'll be really good for me. And look at how many troops I've lost. Two, this is the power of a high level fort. Now, obviously I need to repair this fort um, before he goes in for another wave. Um, one thing I did neglect to mention on the last video, I killed one of his artillery. Um, he had an artillery sitting around where this one is um, and I sniped it with my artillery. And now he is coming for vengeance. He's got four infantry to uh, body block for his artillery piece. And he is trying to catch my artillery. But my artillery is coming in and going to start bombarding this out of range of anything that he can do. I did forget one thing, however. Um, last video, I talked about how I was going to come down here and take these so that I could generate more um, infantry. But what I neglected to realize was Angola has right-of-way with German Nambia. In the very beginning, they were in an alliance together. They had shared, um, at least shared right-of-way. Um, and so I completely forgot that um, Angola has access. And he brought 11 troops down. Um, he took this, um, and it revolted back to South Africa. And he took this. Um, oh, dear. Where did that province come from that I lost? Where is this? Oh, okay. He took this province. I So I took it from him and he just took it back. Um, it's been a bit of a back and forth, but coming back down here, um, he has pushed in with 10 troops. Um, he sent one troop back to take this and he's pushing in with 10 troops to Port Elizabeth. I am going to hold here. So I spent my 850 gold mark to rush a fort in East London, and I am pulling my resources to uh, try to fight off his 10 troops. But these guys are kind of stuck down there by themselves. They're going to do everything that they can to make things better, um, but I can't afford to send them any resources. I originally had two uh, economic spies here to try to get it to flip, but I no longer want this to flip because if he is able to break through my lines, I don't want to give him a full line into my back country um, without going through this province. Now, the one thing that he is going to be struggling with is he is currently at war with six countries. So I actually am in a better spot um, to, I would rather not kill South Africa, even though South Africa only has one territory left because he declared war. He actually surprised attacked South Africa. He is now at minus 30 morale per province per day. Um, and he has to, um, overcome that with, you know, other, other pieces, but his morale is going to be suffering in the long term because he's declared so many wars and he hasn't ended them all. I have no interest in taking this territory anymore for two reasons. One, it borders uh, a place he has access to, and so he can come in with additional troops and flush me out. But two, I want to leave South Africa alive to give um, Angola morale problems. So um, I'm really uh, fortunate that he decided to go in here with, um, I think he had like 50 troops. Um, I'm really fortunate that he decided to attack. I'm going to bombard 
and then I will probably send um, these two artillery pieces up here to bombard this province um, and potentially take it with a single troop. That's all I need. Um, and then we'll figure out what we're going to do about this artillery piece. Unfortunately, the longer the game goes um, without making big moves, he is going to be able to create ways to counter my, um, my artillery and my choke point. He's going to get bombers. He's going to get fighters. He's going to get um, rail guns. He's going to get battleships. And that's not something that I can currently deal with. Um, because as you can see, I have 29 total troops. 29 troops is less than what he has just in that just in this army um, and he also has troops all over the place he's bringing in reinforcements it's good for me that he's attacking into my fort but this is far from over and it will still be quite the challenge to complete this game um, to make it very much further um, i am hoping that as as he runs into issues um, that other alliances will see that he is weak and attack his coalition. Um, that other coalitions, such as um, the Austria, um, Ireland, uh, Sweden, and Hungary alliance, uh, will, will start moving down here and start trying to take on French Algeria and Volta and uh, British Nigeria. They are currently the third ranked alliance um and i am i only have uh i'm 30th right now but austria hungary uh the austria and hungary empire is first and they could very easily move south and knock hello out of the game so that's kind of what i'm hoping will happen i have reached out to uh the austria and, and hungarian alliance and haven't been able to get much traction with them, um, but I am hopeful that I can hold out long enough so where they become the real problem and I can survive. Uh, that's all that I have for now. If you want to continue seeing this game until it is complete, either I'm knocked out or the game ends, go ahead and subscribe so that you can be notified whenever a video comes out. Silly Deo Gloria, and I'll see you next time.